Hi, this is Maria from Simple Nature Decor. Today I'm gonna to show you how to hang wallpaper. You're gonna need um, wallpaper adhesive, and you're going to need a level, a measuring tape, a utility blade, a plastic spatula, a metal spatula, painter's spatula, scissors, a pencil and a painter brush that especially for paste or adhesive. This is the dining room that I will be wallpapering. I have cleaned the walls. There is no debris, so it's going to make it much easier to wallpaper. It's a pretty large room and it shouldn't be that hard to do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the wall and figure out how long it is. Measure from top to bottom. And then I'm going to add 4 inches just to have extra. It's a total of 64 inches and 4 more inches will be a total of 68. Now that I know the measurements of the wall, I will measure the wallpaper which is 68 inches and I'm going to take my level and put a line across to make sure it's nice and even at the 68th inch line. And I will be doing this for about 15 sheets of paper, which is what the wallpaper, um, is the amount of wallpaper I'm going to need for the dining room. I want to make sure that the pattern will match. So you have to take the wallpaper that you receive and um, line up the pattern ahead of time. This does take a little work ahead of time, so I've done this beforehand. Right now I'm going to be doing the third piece of wallpaper, which I'm going to be putting up. I already put up two pieces, and I will show you how to do this. Now I'm going to number it number three, so that I know in what sequence I will be putting this paper up. And it helps with the design of the wallpaper too. I have number two and this is going to go right after number two and I know exactly that after I do put up number three, number four will come and the pattern will be very similar. Um, now we'll be applying the um, wallpaper adhesive with a wallpaper brush or a paintbrush. I like using Roman's um, paint adhesive, but I have different kinds just in case I run out. I haven't um, met one that I haven't liked. All the adhesive seems to be pretty good. I'm going to put a thin coat all over the back of the um, wallpaper and make sure that you do the sides so that when it dries, the sides don't um, come up. When you're finished um, with all the pasting of the adhesive, you're gonna pick up the two sides that are pasted and put them together. And that's how you'll carry it in. The two sides that have paste, you fold them together. And that's basically it. Now we're bringing in the wallpaper to show you how it's placed on the wall. I'm going to line up the pattern this is number three, so I'm lining it up number two and um, taking it apart nice and carefully. This is heavy duty wallpaper, so it's pretty good. Make sure you, when you line it up, you do it gentle and you use soft hands. Here I'm showing you how I'm going to line up um, the pattern again. You take your time, and because the wallpaper adhesive makes it easy to line up, it can slide easy. You use very soft hands and take your time. Always have a cloth just in case to take off some of the 
paste. There's no rush to do this part all the way to the top. And you're going to have um, that extra four inches of wallpaper to cut off. Now you're going to take off that extra four inches of wallpaper with a metal spatula and the utility blade. Make sure that the utility blade is very sharp. This is going to save you a lot of time and grief. Maybe after every three wallpaper, you can um, take off the utility knife and, and bring up the new one. Take your time with this part. No, we don't want to cut any fingers. That metal um, spatula is very important. It gives you some support. Once you take that um, four inches off, you're going to um, get out your plastic um, spatula, which is uh, much lighter. And you're going to rub all over the wallpaper that is placed on the wall carefully just to distribute the um, glue. And here's the plastic spatula. And you're going to go all over to make sure that you get all the glue nice and even. Here's more um, examples of lining up the pattern so that it matches nicely. You do soft hands is very important and you get that plastic spatula to help you distribute the glue once you have you get everything lined up. And it can easily be taken off if you don't line it up correctly. The glue is, does not um, dry for a while. Take your time at, on this part. There's no rush. And soft hands is the key to wallpapering. I'm going to say that a lot, but it's true. Get a um, cloth to wipe down the um, glue or paste. And get that plastic spatula. It's very important. There it goes. All the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. Now I'm going to show you how to wallpaper in the corners, the four corners of the walls. Very important that you have to cut the wallpaper down the middle. Um, once this is um, hung up, you're going to get your metal knife and you're going to cut down the middle. You're going to put one side and make sure that the one side me pattern measures up to the other one. And you're going to use your um, number sequence, of course. This is a little tricky because sometimes one side doesn't want to stay up. Get that uh, plastic spatula everywhere. Using a scissor to do a couple snips down the middle will help because sometimes the utility um, knife, the blade gets too wet from the um, glue. And once you get a little snip, you can use a utility blade easier. The corners are hard to get to. Now I'm using my metal spatula and the utility blade. I'm going to cut off that excess um, of wallpaper that I talked to you about. Take your time. Make sure that the blade is very... Um, sharp. And there's one side. Now I'm going to do the other side. Now that I um, 
took some of the excess paper. I'm going to um, take the metal spatula. I'm going to start cutting down the middle on the corners. And what's going to happen is because you have to do this so that if you didn't do this, the, the, the wallpaper would um, create bubbles right where that crease is on the wall. Take that spatula, line it up down that um, corner, and take the utility blade and start cutting away. Sometimes it's um, moist and you're going to need um, a scissor to cut up a little bit. Um, you're going to snip little areas. It's very important to take your time, otherwise you can actually um, tear the wallpaper when it's a little wet like this from the adhesive. Soft hands is the key. I don't know how many times I've tore wallpaper before by not um, taking my time and using um, hard hands. So now I'm able to cut away. Make sure you hold the metal spatula um, very um, hard and then cut um, carefully. This is the only time you're going to be using something, holding something hard. You cut all the way to the top. Now that I cut all the way to the top, I'm going to show you how easy the piece comes off. Just to uh, set an example. Now I can line up this piece with the other side evenly and so that there is going to be no air pockets. It's going to line up nice and carefully. Um, it's going to be very even. It's going to match with the other side of the wallpaper. Like I said, this used to be one sheet of wallpaper, which is cut down the middle. I'm going to get my glasses. I'm going to start lining up. Take your time and make sure it lines up nice and even. Very important that the pattern lines up. Use nice soft hands and you get that plastic spatula and you'll also get um, some cloth to take some of the paste that came through the corners. Well, this is it. And if you follow these steps, um, it should be very easy for you to wallpaper. Just take your time and make sure that you cut your wallpaper ahead of time and make sure that everything lines up. The pattern lines up, you have soft hands, you have the right um, supplies and tools are important. I hope you enjoy this um, wallpapering the dining room and please stop by my um, blog called Simple Nature Decor and I'd love for you to make a comment. Thank you so much and have a great day.